Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to actually be seeing another perspective to, you know, I know I've talked about how the MS Biomedical Science here is in for me, but I'm very sure you'll be interested in hearing from another entire perspective. So today, I'm going to be asking Precious, help me welcome Precious. <laughs> is a colleague of mine we have totally different um background academic background so i'm just going to be getting a different perspective of how she sees the program so stay tuned and let's get right into today's video so precious thank you so much for joining me today my pleasure so now basically you want to just introduce yourself to the house oh okay um hi everyone my name is precious uh, as she said um I'm a current student of um, biomedical science at the University of Salford. Uh, I'm just me, a work in progress. <laughs> so now the very first question I'll be asking is, what did you do in your undergraduate? Like, what did you study for your bachelor's degree? Okay, and so where? I studied applied microbiology and brewing. Uh, majored in medical because we had medical and uh, brewing. So I majored in medical microbiology in my finals, and that was at the Nandia Zugiri University. Oh. In Nigeria. In Nigeria, yes. Yeah, but if you don't know it's in cut and embraced it. The second question I wanted to ask you is like, so what was the expectation when you were coming to the uh soul for like obviously when you picked MSC Biomedical Science, what was the expectation for the program initially? So thank you for that question. So you know how before I came over here, I've always heard that yes, in the abroad, even if you're a dunce, come here and you are up there yes, and yeah. then you get and then to be honest when i was coming i felt like they have all the state of the art uh settings for you to make your learning so easy and that's why they say even a dance can actually succeed here and that was my mindset i, I came with like knowing that maybe or oh, with the mindset that once i start the masters everything is there is hands-on is practical back to back with my studies and then i mean i get to shine wherever after the afterwards so that was the expectation the third question i would like to ask what do you think has like stood out for you for the program like so far like since you started like what has like what's the one thing or maybe two things that you can say oh this stood out for me in this particular program the thing that stood out for me here is the fact that here i get to understand that yes there are a lot of information in on the internet but then there are things called primary articles like they write information here taught me to know how to go for the primary articles to get the right information so that's one thing that stood out for me in this place it it's kind of what's that word now like gave me a total a change of perspective or different inside. perspective exactly as to how to source materials online how to source genuine materials online and how to really get the if the accurate information out there so that's one thing that stood out for me and then the second thing is that the fact that our assessments here are based on you going to do your homeworks and then coming back with uh information like they make it they make it such that we get to really know what we are given, not just rush up and submit assignments and all of that. They make you research into it and then it gets like put up your thesis together and by so doing you get to have that knowledge at the palm of your fingers. Alright. Thank you so much for that now. So with your background, I know you did apply microbiology now. Mm -hmm. So with your background, would you say like the MSc Biomedical Science has been a plus for you? Like has it basically been a plus? Like, could you say, oh, okay, this was the best course I could have gone for, or there was like, there yeah, are better courses I could have gone for, basically. So, has it been a plus for you with your background? Well, that's somewhat tricky. Um, mm. Tricky in the sense that, um, yes, I've always loved to go back to my whole healthcare job back in Nigeria after my university, after this, after, after my service here. I actually went into renewable energy. I'm a solar expert. Anything renewable energy as regards to solar and all of that. 
yeah I do on that so uh, imagine leaving that healthcare sector and getting into um, the renewable energy industry for years and then back to my first love which was the healthcare environment um, coming here the expectation was actually that I was going to be saddled with lots and lots and lots of hands-on um, experience practical wise while doing my masters as like an edge to what my first degree was and that was the whole aim of coming here to run the master's program to basically have that hands-on experience like back to back and then to also kind of refresh all the whole lab memories that I have lost in past years to be honest it hasn't quite done that for me because I don't know if it's school based on my school or based on the way the program, program is structured because um, I had expected that it would be a 70-30 um, thingy where 70% is basically majorly on the practicals and in the lab and 30% theory but if I'm being honest, it's not been that. It's, it's more like almost like 80 20. 80, like almost 80, 80% yes. 80 theoretical, theoretical and 20% practical. And even the practicals, like, I have, obviously, there are reasons why it, the curriculum is like that because obviously the old biomedical science program is a lot to compress right. the money and all true, that. True. But still, even the practical, you do. There are only a few practicals we did that were like personal, like RGD, just RGD, 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 and that was because it's just for projects. They are preparing for projects, mm -hmm. but majority of it, like I could be in a group and not work at all. <laughs> like you could be, you could be paired up what? and decide that you know what, I don't want to touch anything today. I'm not going to work, and so it wasn't. It's not really a lot of it wasn't hands-on practical. So sure. I think that's. I don't know if it's same for everywhere, but I think for some for basically it's not. Mm -hmm. You don't get that hands-on hands -on yeah, practical hands -on. as much as you would love to say. So I think it still depends on what you're looking out for from the exactly, program. Exactly. So now uh, the next question I'll be asking is like, what do you advise people now? I, I've had people message me like, oh, I'm doing microbiology, I want to come for MSc Biomedical Science, I'm, I'm at Salford. And sometimes it's always tricky for me to explain to them because I have a biomedical science like background. background. Yeah. So sometimes I'm always like, if I tell you to come, like this program is good, it might be biased. If I tell you not to come because right. it is biased, like, it depends on actually what you're looking out for. It. I don't know. For, right. for me, it's. I was saying something. It might not be a plus or minus for me because I already have the background mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And some also come like, oh, I want to practice and I want to do HCPC and all that. So, since you're in the field, like, I would. Be, what would be your advice for anyone coming from maybe you? Doing microbiology and saying, Oh, I want to come and do MSc Biomedical Science. What would be your advice for them? Thank you, Alice. Um, to be honest, you just you just hit the nail there. There is no right or wrong answer to this, and there is no there is no one straight answer of one straightforward answer to this question. The prob the thing is, you have to know what your end game is. Like if I had probably listened to something like this before I came here, I'd have been very um What's the word now? I would have been very select. I would have been careful in the school of choice because to be honest, why I came to Salford was because um, the international, the diversity is yeah. one hundred. Sure. Like, do you get? And then they are so inter international student friendly. Yeah. Like they work to make sure that you are okay. The school is set up yeah. that way and then of and course the tuition, really inclu like inclusion, is, inclusion is, is really great yeah, they, have, they, they have a very high uh, inclusivity rating um but then if i had known about this whole part that i wouldn't be getting the hands-on experience i had planned i may have probably looked out for schools that could give that so my advice to whoever is in my field uh, and trying to come onto this lane is for, for an analyst now she wouldn't have a problem because I mean she's HCPC certified I am not and another thing Salford does not have my school University of Salford don't have that accreditation for biomedical science you know that will probably get you into the IBMS field as an accredited IBMS accredited university with that you can now say okay let me just apply straight on 
to um, get your HCPC and practically and, and now practice in the clinical laboratory. But then, um, from what I gathered, it's not a lost cause. It's just like one might have to a me that doesn't have any HCPC registration might have to probably do a little extra work. Now, it also depends on what school you went to and what courses you did in your biomed because there's a webinar that was that we had like a few days back and it was basically on this HCPC thing and the information out there is when you're ready, they'll compare what you've done in your first degree versus what you've done in the, what, what I'm doing right now or what I'll be concluding on based on biomedical science uh, masters right now they checkmate and if you tick all the boxes on those certain courses they require for you to be um, HCPC mm -hmm. certified they'll give you HCPC um, certification straight on otherwise they'll just suggest to you certain courses that needs to be added and just look for a school that you can do that on and just, on, run, the program. And just run that just particular yes program and I, I had it like 600 pounds for each course and then get that done with um, you're back to where you want to be that is if you are in interested in practicing in, as like myself as a biomedical dentist so i don't think it's a totally lost cause to want to come to salford and all of that um, but then you may want to save yourself a few more maybe time and money, money by probably doing a due diligence to as to what you need, you need if that school that you're interested in offers it and I guess that would really help. Thank you so much for that. Well, now, so what do you think is next for you regarding like, let's look at the academic part. Like, what do you think is next? How would you foresee any challenge or something that would be a benefit? You know how, for example, um, let me just use a rough example. Like how maybe now as a biomedical scientist here, yeah, you're like, oh, maybe not having a particular, maybe not having UK experience. Like for me now, I'm applying and a lot of people are saying, oh, UK experience. And I'm like, oh, I know this is going to be a challenge for me or maybe they're talking about degree and talking about you and because of coming from nigeria you're like oh this is most likely going to be a challenge so for you for academics like in career advancement now what do you think will be a challenge what do you foresee that well this might not be the easiest and i have to work towards it and this is something other people should also look out for All right okay just um to answer that question i think it's a bit related to what i've just said previously like the the next big thing for me now is to get hcpc certified right and to do that just as i said i'll have to have them check me what i've done in my own um, first degree and now and see if there are lapses so the difficult thing that there would probably be if at all i'm required to do extra courses getting to now like look out start searching for schools that can do yeah, that do that courses. and try to get that i mean those are a few more months that, you have to that i'll have to go instead of you know cashing out yeah. anyways uh but then experience wise just like what you said regarding trying to apply for jobs and they're asking you to be honest there are certain jobs that do not need you to be hcpc certified mm -hmm. before you get like the medical lab assistant job and then i've also had that um, the associate associate biomedical science jobs do not need hcpc certification so just like i'm doing now you can start from there i'm actively applying to those roles, even if it's a lower band, for me to start gathering yes, that yes. UK experience that's yeah. required to practice. Because I think they're really big on UK. Even they for are, biomedical scientists, are. like you're, even if you're HCPC registered, like you see some folks, they'll be like UK experience, exactly. NHS. Some people even be very specific, right? And NHS, NHS exactly. hospital experience. And then one thing I also started doing lately was to start applying to volunteer. Like I just sent that one this morning. I, it's not about the money now, it's about the bigger picture you yeah. get. Getting that experience, getting that reference to back up the bigger P that I'll now be applying later. So mm -hmm. it's a win-win situation either way. It's just that, as, I, as you asked, the challenge would be that time, the time to line. take you off of making money by volunteering one and then that time as well that you probably have to use to you saved to probably invest in those courses that you're supposed to top up with. But then I feel it's just for a greater good. Yeah, and I think because everything everything lives about risks. You have to you have to put in something to get uh, something. And out. let me drop that uh, this out there, right? 
You see this course, believe it or not, is a hot cake. Mm. There are a need for biomedical scientists here. Yeah. Do you understand? There are need for bad medical scientists here and back to back every time I see them on job ads, but then qualification wise. I think there are just so many intricacies about these things and you just have to figure out what works best for you. But thank you so much, Precious. It has been awesome having you on this channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for honoring us. Thank and you. it was wonderful having you on this channel. Pleasure so much. And hopefully, we're coming back to talk about when we get our job and the money. Yay! When we're bullying. <laughs> actually, actually, spread. As we just come, I just, just, by the time we come into this video, like, you will see the money, you see the glory okay. all around. This, this look will be a different look. Look at this picture, man. Take, take, take a picture. Take a look. Take, take a, look. a picture. Give because us few more months. You know that, that, that Instagram thing that's a marble one. Uh, I'm going to use this. Thank, Thank you so much for you. Alice. It's always a pleasure. Alright. Thank you so much. Cheers, Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely. Thank you so much. Did I come away in another video? Thank you. Bye.